Greeting my fellow Viewboardians. Today I'm going to show you how to connect your document camera directly to the back of your ViewSonic display. So as you can see, I've got my Aver document camera here, VGA in the back. And then I'm going to go to the back of the ViewSonic display. It's the very last VGA port on the bottom. I'm gonna swing around here and show you that real quickly. Right here. Okay, so I'm going to connect that. Excuse my head. All right, and of course you can tighten it securely, but I'm not going to take the time to do that. Now I'm going to do the limbo. All right, so now it's connected. So I'm on my Windows computer, Windows right now. To switch the source, I click on the gear on the actual frame of the ViewSonic, and I'm going to change to VGA. And of course, my document camera is already turned on. I already powered that up earlier. And the image displays beautifully here. Now, these little overlay tools, we want to give you some vocabulary. Overlay tools are available on either side of the screen. Let me go over here so you don't trip over that cord. Overlay tools. Okay, so you can now use these overlay tools to annotate over your document, to annotate over your video. Just grab the pen. Every time you tap it, the color changes. And we can say, come to Ed Camp. It's in a couple of weeks this Saturday. Don't forget. Okay, but again, I just wanted to highlight that these are called overlay tools that we will be using. Overlay tools. That's what we're going to call them, okay? So, just a quick video to show you how to connect your document camera to your ViewSonic and to use the overlay tools to annotate over the image, image being displayed. In the next video, I will show you how to connect your document camera wirelessly if your desk happens to be in the back of the room and you cannot connect directly on the back of the display. All right, thanks.